and hello YouTube, this is GS Man on Smart, and we're on a brand new video for tutorials of GS, and today's tutorial is going to be a quick one on Adobe Audition and how to get rid of strong S's, or also known as sibilants, in your recordings. Now if you take a listen to this uh, recording that I have here, it isn't too bad, there aren't that many strong S's, but if you happen to have a recording with a lot of strong S's, it can sound a lot worse than this. So here's what I have currently. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Are there any strong S's in this recording? Now, uh, it's not as terrible as some other cases may have, but you can tell right around this area, the volume goes all the way up to the red here, which is what we kind of want to avoid if you take a listen. Strong S's in this recording, as you can see. And if you have multiple S's consecutively coming up like that, it can also sound kind of bad. Uh, one trick to one trick to do when you're recording is to actually lower your mic volume. The lower your mic volume is, the the less harsh those S's will be, and the better it will sound. But if you happen to run into a situation where you can't change your mic volume anymore, if you've recorded already, then there are some things you can do in audition to get rid of these strong S's. One, you can highlight everything. We're gonna go up to effects, go to amplitude, and then go to dynamic processing. In dynamic processing, they have a de-esser. You can select de-esser hard, you can select de-esser light, and de-esser medium. Depending on how hard your S's are, how harsh they are, you can select between a light, hard, and medium. Um, so if we select when it's hard, you'll see the difference. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Are there any strong S's in this recording? As you can see, uh, when we when we go over this portion where it went to red before, watch down here. Are there any strong S's in this recording? That doesn't happen anymore. It sounds very fluid and normalized, kind of. This is with a hard de-esser, though. If we go with something that's light. Are there any strong S's in this recording? As you can see, it's a bit more prevalent there. So maybe we want to go with a medium. That would be uh, best. Strong S's in this recording? So you could, you could use these presets here if you wanted to under dynamic processing. However, if you want more control over the, the esser, you can go to effects again, amplitude, and you can actually select the de-esser option. Now here, uh, you can select a range uh, of hertz with the gate here. You can move the gate up and down. So you can do that. You can also change uh, how much of an impact it has by changing this value here. Or you can just obviously, you know, select a preset here. One that I would suggest is the four to seven, uh, the four thousand to seven thousand hertz. That one, usually, that one usually does a really good job. So we take a listen to this. You'll see it. testing one two three. Testing one two three. Are there any strong S's in this recording? As you can see, it's very similar to the uh, DS or medium that we had in dynamic processing. But either of the two effects will work. You can use the DS or here, or you can use the dynamic processes, processing effect here. And they both work really well. For most of my recordings, I tend to go with a DS or hard, and I usually apply that, and then it sounds a lot better. You can see that the waveform has also changed. Here are our strong S's, the spikes in the waveform. And uh, when we actually apply that effect, that's gone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Are there any strong S's in this recording? As you can see, there's, there's a huge difference. The audio still sounds fairly good, but uh, the S's are gone. And that piece of audio, those in those waveforms, those high hertz where the S is prevalent, are now basically shrunk down to the rest of the waveform. So as much the tutorial, I just wanted to give you a quick tip on how to get rid of sibilance and strong S's in your recordings. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like at the bottom. Any questions or comments, comment box down below. Be down there answering any questions. If you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of other audition tutorials on the channel. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GS Man with Smart. I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.